One Miss Call. That's the movie. One Miss Call. <laughs> this movie's a hunk of junk, a crock of shit, a skunky dick, a flock of it's bad. It's made me bring out my inner angry Nintendo nerd. That's how bad it is. This movie is horrible. Horrid. $20 million budget? Why do you hate money? What tries to be Final Destination ends up being my last resort. Bazinga. One Miss Call has a galloping glop of 0% on the tomato meter, and I've never seen something so justified. I watched this movie twice, because the first time, I kept falling asleep. So the second watch, I got yanked on caffeine, and you still would've thought I was on a tempur in Havana. This movie's not even a funny sucks, it just sucks. We're reaching Dyson levels here. I refuse to do extra research on this, so if you're gonna jump in the comments and be like, we see the reason why it turned out that way is because the director actually had a lot of restrictions. I don't care! Here's the plot. It's a killer cell phone. Whoa! This video is sponsored by Bespoke, a snazzy little cross-category subscription service. Introducing you to products like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, the things I got. Based on a preference quiz that you fill out. You guys see? I want you guys to see. That's kind of the point of this. Boom. Check that bad boy out. This is a Buck and Bear Mini Hunter Damascus Steel Knife. And I know what you're thinking. How can I take this on the go? It's got a premium leather sheath. Bang for your buck, that's what matters, right? Well, every box has a retail value of $70. You get it for $45. Don't like the box they sent you? Easy. Get another one. Want to skip a month at any point? Easy. Skip that month. Behold, a much bigger box. Wait, this is actually sick. I honestly was not expect. I have no idea what they were going to send me in the box. They sent me hot sauce, dude. I have to try some of these, right? Don't be shy, little buddy. Ooh. Okay, but now we're moving up to hot Thai green hot sauce. You know, it's tradition around here to throw a little extra- Oh, shit! There's hot sauce all over my keyboard. Be oh my gosh, Bespoke is never gonna want to work with me again. The last one, uh, Senor Lechuga hot sauce. This is supposed to be the craziest one they got here. Bro, you throw this on some eggs? Whoo! That'll get your ass up in the morning. That's good stuff. So try out your first monthly box that you can get 20% off of when you use my link below and type in code GG20 at checkout. I had to sneeze at the end of that one. <coughs> Am I leaving that in? I'm leaving that in. That is code GG20, link below, and thank you Bespoke for sponsoring this video. So this woman, I still don't even really understand this shit. How this goes is someone gets a call and they hear their death or see their death uh, in the voicemail. It even gives them a nice little timestamp so they know, they know exactly when they're gonna die. And that's when they die. Something I remember Final Destination did well was building suspense. You saw these random factors at play and you would immediately guess, oh, that's that's gonna break and stab her or, or maybe she's gonna fall into here and then turn into little pieces. Then you saw the crazy domino effect at play. It would always throw you for a spin. It was a spectacle. Regardless of my nitpicks, I was there for the ride. You wanna know what they do in this movie? Yeah, this hospital just blows up. Yeah, this construction site just blows up. Whoa, slow down. I'm trying to keep up here. Are you guys having like a regular ass family dinner in the middle of a house party? That's so funny. Hey, I hope you guys are good. How's the Doritos? One thing I give it credit for are some creepy visuals when they're from afar. That is the best compliment I can give this movie because any close ups are a flop. Wait, that actually looked kind of creepy but this looks really bad like zooming in and showing the mouths <laughs> that looks like shit margaret cho is in the movie this isn't important to the movie nor to the review i just wanted to say it are you like the evil sexier version of paul rudd you're like the spider-man 3 paul rudd i had more fun reading through that 25 page fedmeister leak then watching the- But yeah, it ends up being this thing and it goes to the door and then this is kind of the part I kept falling asleep through so I can't really explain this that well. But uh, who likes cliffhangers? I know I do. Anything that signifies the end of this movie, I'm a fan of. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> what is this movie devolved to? Motherfucker, I saw that horrible cut, darkness, into these random warm-ass lights. And I know some of you think that, hey, he watched a bad movie, so he's gotta come out with a fire review. And that's not really how it works, guys. There are bad movies, and then there are bad movies that you can make content from. I don't just come up here and talk about every stinker I've watched, because sometimes there just ain't shit to talk about. It's just a dog shit movie. Man, I have never seen such trash romantic chemistry on screen why is this movie so
forget everything I just said about one missed call. This movie is, uh, it's a pack of poop, a double deuce, a sack of duke, a puddle <laughs> Unforgivable. <laughs> Listen to me. What is there to say about a movie like this? It's a bottom of the barrel B movie. The type of shit that you should have no legitimate reason of coming across. You have to search for something like this. So to the maniac that suggested this to me, pardon my French, but get bent. What does that insult even mean? I've never thought about it till now. Is that like the PG version of go get fucked? Cause that's so cute. Can we start saying that as a community guys? Bringing back insults from the sixties and rebranding them as my own baby. Anyway, I guess I can describe the movie. It's a movie about Amityville. There's apparently a shit ton of them. I'm not going to watch anymore. How many ways can you spin this film that's based on a true story? Oh, I know. How about we make it 3D? Anyway, all this movie does is just places a different family here. The father receives an object, we can call him Abu, that had some sort of connection with the actual murders, and it makes him murder. The New York Times said, groundbreaking. The LA Times said, what? The fuck is New York Times talking about? The dynamic of this family is all over the place. The father has a gay son and says nothing to do with the dynamic. He has a gay son and his gay son brings his gay partner to the, the family get together. And when the dad's starting to go nuts, he has a fantasy of him walking into his son's room as his son's flogging his boy's cheeks. And his son turns over to his dad and says, <sighs> Stop me, daddy. And it's at that moment that I realized this movie's not bad. There's literally nothing of substance to tell you about. The best parts are probably those weird fantasy shots. Like he shocks his daughter into labor for one of them and she burps a tremor. <laughs> I just really wanna make sure we're on the same page here and you don't give this movie too much credit. Cause you might think what I'm saying like, oh, it's so bizarre. It has to be hilarious. It's not. Every death in the movie is either off camera or it's this. And don't even ask me about the ending, because it's just an entirely different movie for 10 minutes. Simply put, this movie's in a no-watch zone. If you watch One Miss Call, I get it. Maybe you want a little nostalgia in your coffee. That makes sense. Amityville Toy Box, which I don't even think I've said the name this entire fucking time. I legitimately think, let me check. I think this may be the worst movie I've reviewed. And I hope that's true, because that'd be sick clickbait. I don't think that's a lie, actually. I've reviewed some stank. But Amityville Toy Box is the most soulless roadkill I've ever seen. It's not fun to watch. It's not even fun to make fun of. What an honor, guys. Claps in chat. Will you stop it? I've clearly been choosing the worst fucking titles from the list I have. I'll pop the list on screen, by the way, because I understand some of you might be weird about that. Be like, well, what's the list? You could just fucking be lying to us and reviewing whatever you want to review. I'll show you the list. This is what I wrote down. If you guys want to maybe push for a suggestion next. And before we move on from that, one missed call. I can't solidify your spot in worst movie I've reviewed. But rest assured, you're not far behind. If you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying this series, please leave a like. Here's your second reminder to please leave a like. Please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my beautiful, 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 beautiful patrons for supporting the boy. Also, shout out to Catlina for retweeting my last video tweet. And as always, I am Mr. Gigi, and I am out. Bye.